becomes a mature B cell. And at this stage, it can express not only IgM, immunoglobin N, but immunoglobin D antibodies. Now, the mature B cell, which is usually abundant in the cortex, will move to the paracortex to get activated by T helper cells, or alternatively, it can get activated by an antigen of a pathogen or even a follicle dendritic cell. Now, when this mature B cell gets activated, regardless, it will move into the germinal center, the dark zone, and begin to proliferate, a process called colonial expansion. Now, it is thought that the mature B cells, when it proliferates into cells called centroblasts, an intracellular enzyme called AID will introduce mutations, point mutations, on the variable region of the DNA. So, the variable region that encodes for the variable region of the antibody. And so, this introduction of mutations, also known as process called hypermutation, will change the antibody increasing its affinity or decreasing its affinity, increasing its specificity or decreasing its specificity. And so these mature B cells, through proliferation and hypermutation, will create many types of central blasts with an increased affinity or a decreased affinity for the particular antigen that stimulated the activation of the mature B cell in the first place. Now, in the light zone of the germinal center, we have other types of cells, such as follicular dendritic cells, FDC, and T helper cells, with the antigen presented to the mature B cell in the first place. Now, what happens is the centroblasts will move from the dark zone into the light zone, where they will become centrocytes. So now, what happens is, for example, if this particular centroblast had a disadvantage mutation, if through hypermutation, it had a disadvantaged mutation, it will move into the light zone and become a centrocyte. And it cannot make contact with a T helper cell. And it does not, the antibody of this particular centrocyte does not recognize the antigen presented by the T helper cell. And so will get destroyed through self destruction, through apoptosis. Similarly, this centroblast also has a, had a disadvantaged mutation and so is not needed by the body because the antibody does not recognize the antigen. Its affinity decreased, and so it goes through apoptosis. However, this particular centroblast had an improved affinity through hypermutation. And so, as it moves to the light zone and becomes a centrocyte, it recognizes the antigens and, uh, from the T helper cell or the follicular dendritic cell. And so, the body would want to produce more of this particular centrocyte because it had improved affinity. And so this particular centrocyte will undergo a process called class switching and differentiation. 